Alright, now, I know all of you just click here, because it has right word sucks in the title. Now, I'm just gonna end up saying this, but right word doesn't technically make sense. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, the, the voice actor of the anime ship them. Um, they are childhood friend, whatever, whatever, but the thing is, just because they're childhood friends and the voice actor of the anime just shipped them doesn't mean they are exact, they are exactly like, gonna be a, a next straight up couple. Now, 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 um, here's the, here's the pro, now, okay, fuck, okay, 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 okay. But let's play seriously. It doesn't make sense because one, Phoenix Wright has has no interest in men. Now that you may call me homophobic or something, but I mean in the in the past games there was absolutely no interest that Phoenix that Phoenix has ever showed so far in men, except for the fact that the original creator. The original creator technically like uh, you know said that Ma said the phoenix thinks that miles edward is cute but if you think that basically contradicts my my argument then no because because i think my best friends are cute too and and, uh, and i'm a boy and i'm a straight as straight as a board so does that mean that so does so does that mean that i'm I'm secretly a bisexual. No, no, like come on, it doesn't. That doesn't make any any sense. They don't really show show interest in each other, and this is just one of the reasons. Now, two. Now, here's the thing on why Phoenix changed changed job just so he could see Miles Edward. Now, now, no. no. Now the thing is, Miles Edgeworth defended Phoenix Wright at the PE class. Now this is not really a very, very strong arg ar argument, but, but, but I mean, Phoenix Wright is a pretty lonely bastard, and uh, and from what I can, from what we can tell, he had no friends in college. I mean, I mean he probably has childhood friends like Miles and Larry, but he was pretty much a loner. He, 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 I mean, at the at the moment, Phoenix Wright has has no friends. Yep, he he has no friends, except for probably B. But we're talking about past right here, you know, the college right and stuff. That so obviously, so obviously, if you are that lonely and you want to see see your own see your childhood friend ever again, I mean, to be honest. To be honest, I shouldn't be really using this argument. This argument is pretty weak for me to be honest with you guys. But the thing is, you know, the thing is, is that Phoenix saw this article that says Mouth Demon Mouth Edgeworth, and that's when he decided, oh, 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 fuck, fuck this or something. I don't. I got that. I got it. But my my parents said. My parents are up here right now, so I can't, so I can't really swear that that would be bad. But, but anyways, but anyways, Phoenix saw Miles Edward become the demon. He saw. Now the now now even though you can count the rise of the ashes, ashes as canon where he just only used forge evidence. It still basically contradicts like a lot of things in in the Ice Attorney Attorney story, which. Is which is pretty much an edge. I mean, I could count Emma as Kenny because she technically appeared there, but but still, but still, even even if even if Miles Edge would just use a bunch of forged evidence, that doesn't mean that Phoenix knew. He basically wrote like probably thousands of letters, and he he probably never got a single response or so or something. Uh, I mean, I mean, if he could get a response, we, 
via letters, then then why should and then then what's the chance of him saving him? Like he couldn't talk him out of being a demon via a letter, stuff like that. I mean, if I mean I'm pretty much pretty much on a, on a long time is I don't I don't remember the exact details, but but if he couldn't talk to him. Talk to him, but if he couldn't talk to him via letters, then he knew one thing, and that is to become a lawyer, just so he could talk him out of it. I know it's it sounds pretty corny, but hey, man, it's the face of her, it's pretty goofy. So. But, but, and uh, another thing is that is that unnecessary feelings. Now, Finn, now, unnecessary feelings. Are pretty much twisted into a, rom a, ro a romantic thing, like um, like the like the unnecessary feelings are pretty much twisted into like a romantic thing. Like basically, uh, he didn't say that he liked him. I mean, I mean, sure, it looks like it, but at the same time, it, it didn't. It, it wasn't exactly. It was basically saying that he feels shame. And and I'm pretty sure he's trying to be like a cold bastard or some or something. So he couldn't be trained to be like a be like a a cold. Uh, so he probably saw those those shame those shame emotion as as unnecessary. So that's why he's saying I am feeling unnecessary feelings. I mean. If you if you are trained to be cold and you are feeling those things, it would be pretty unnecessary. You're supposed to feel hard and cold. No, no. Another thing is that is that Miles Edgeworth, uh, not not being not being gay or, or something. Oh no, no, not not that, not that. I meant that not being straight or something doesn't exactly mean that he is he is gay. He could. Be. He could be actually, actually asexual or a romantic, or a romantic. Now, basically, what I said is that is that Miles Edward doesn't like girls, but that is but that isn't exactly true. I mean, sure, we can keep the possibility that he is gay, but there's also the possibility that he's asexual, asexual, he's a romantic, stuff like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure he has shown no interest in dating somebody like. Come on, he's he's supposed he's supposed to be like supposed to be like the chief of the prosecutor. Why would he date and somebody, especially in a defense attorney, attorney, when he, when he's supposed to be caring like the dark ages of the law and stuff. Now, now, now another another reason is that. Is that no another re reason is that is that the reason why Miles Miles Edgeworth X Phoenix Fight is is so is so popular alongside with my with Maya X Francisca is because there are a lot of Yaoi fangirls. I mean I mean you can I mean you can say that I'm technically misgen misgendering you guys but I mean there. I mean, to be honest, most of the bright bird sheepers I've met are pretty, pretty much Yaoi fangirls. They're basically like, oh, 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 Phoenix and Ma Edward are totally gay. I mean, to be honest, f for men, they they basically sexualize lesbians, and and for women, they basically sex sexualize men, men, uh, gay, gay people or something. I mean, you can, you can. Say, you can you can basically say that I'm technically generalizing the the whole thing, but but I mean it's not. I mean not everybody's like that. I mean not every man, not every woman is like that. But most of the people in the Asia fan fandom are basically like that. They they want they want Yuri. They want the they they want you know right right word. Right word and stuff like that. Like they couldn't really look at logical 
logical ships. I'm not talking about Fe Phoenix X Mine, I'm talking about Phoenix X, X Iris, which is actually true. Phoenix has shown interest in women, but not men yet. And, and as far as I know, um, I basically have more facts, you know, but uh, I think, um, but my limit for this, for this video is basically like 41 minutes or something. I mean, if you guys want, want to debate with me, do a ship debate with me, um, I'm willing to go for it. I mean, I mean, I could, I mean, I could record it too. Or, I mean, even if I lost, even if I lose shape debate or something like that, just with your consent and stuff, stuff. So here's my Discord. Uh, Phoenix write hashtag uh, one nine or four, and I'm probably gonna write, uh, write, 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 write even better. I mean, I'm, I'm not very used to like. Like uh, saying that, still like speaking on the phone. Like I'm supposed to be like a game in YouTube channel, but I'm not supposed to be like to be like those come short channel where I basically say, do, do, Miles Edward X, X Phoenix. Do. I mean, I mean that's what I thought it sounds like. Now. Like, but yeah, if you guys. If you guys wanna go ahead and have a ship debate or ship debate is is that I am gonna go and uh, leave my Discord ahead so you guys can go and send me death threats and dox me. I mean go find out where my family lives. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I mean if you do that I mean I mean if you do that then you are weak. I mean if you cannot win the ship argument and you had to do it by doxing and sending death threats. I mean that's pretty weak for you. Yeah. But yeah. That's 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 really about it. I'm thinking guys for watching and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll bring up better points in the comment section and Discord down below. I'm not really just to, to uh, like videos like this. I'm supposed to be like uh no, stuff like that, like that thing. <sighs> but yeah, if you are if you are alright Right word, right word. She, she perceiving this, and and you respect my opinion and argument. I mean, I'm just saying that not every right word she are basically like that, like doxing people and stuff. Stuff. I mean, they're pretty chill. I mean, I've made made good friends with right word cheapers, but the thing is, I basically like, I don't know. Basically, we just respected each other. It's basically what it is. I mean, we could still respect each other doing a ship debate. I mean, we could just not say that you're dead present. We could just bring up our arguments and stuff. But, yeah. That's that's really about it. Um, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye.